Cam, were there any other any questions that you can see that you're wanting to answer through there? I'm just typing one at the moment. Oh, beautiful. In relation to, to well, I might as well just say it. I'll, I'll read I'll read it out so I cover it properly because I get asked a bit about the the the, the Vlad laws in Queensland. It's like this. Yeah. Look, I appreciate people's concerns, but the bottom line is I was Premier of the state. We had a criminal motorcycle gang have a fight with another criminal motorcycle gang um, on a Saturday night in a public place with completely complete disregard of the community. There were children there. They, they, they proceeded to do battle with one another. They did battle with the police. They threw chairs and tables. They scared the bejesus out of people. Even the left-wingers in the community, people like Madonna King, who's a columnist up here, ex-ABC, um, were calling on us to come down on them really, really, uh, uh, in a really like a ton of bricks. So, yeah, we had to take action. And they were designed, the laws were designed to be used against criminal motorcycle gangs, mm. not other people. Um, the laws were actually devised by the person who's now the president of the Court of Appeal in Queensland, a guy called Walter Sofronov, who's a left winger. And I want to stress that. He came to us with a proposal. I'm going to say it again. He came to us with a proposal. Mm. My attorney general didn't go and ask him to come up with tough, you know, unconstitutional or, or terrible laws against people's sort of uh, civil liberties. They were developed by the guy who's now the president of the Court of Appeal was appointed by Labor. So he was quite proud of himself. And he even came up with the, the name. Okay, which I think is a bit of a, I find a rather amusing history. But I guess to, to reflect on it, um, you know, if I had my time again, particularly after what I've seen happen in the last uh, two years, um, I totally get and agree that those laws are capable of being misused by the police. And indeed, I've spoken to people who are members of this party and supporters of this party who've demonstrated to me that they were misused by police. And I'm sorry about that. I really am. Um, probably what we should have done is just really put the pressure on the police commissioner and the police hierarchy to actually use existing laws and to go after the gangs in the same way. The effect would have been what was required um, and other people who were perhaps just um, people enjoying their motorcycling would have been left alone. Um, so I'm, I'm certainly happy to concede that. Uh, one other point that gets lost is the laws had sunset causes well in some aspects and would have had to have, uh, be, uh, would, would have expired if not renewed. Um, and they're certainly not in place today. So look, that, that's my position on the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Had to act, probably brought in, put, put in place some laws that um, were, were, were capable of being misused in some cases were. Um, but that's why it all happened. And, and again, they weren't developed or cooked up by politicians. They were cooked up by um, a highly respected, I don't, I don't particularly have a lot of time for him myself, but a highly respected um, uh, member of the legal and legal profession and judiciary in Queensland. Mm. Mm. Well, I remember that violence, uh, Campbell, <clears throat> and I remember it did shock the nation. In fact, I can remember watching Fox News in the US and they repeated the video of those two biker gangs going absolutely feral in the middle of surface paradise with little families around the place. Uh, <clears throat> but I was, I, was, I was going to ask you, before you just mentioned it, about whether there were sunset clauses. And I'm very happy to hear that there were sunset clauses. But uh, can you give us a little bit? So was it was that was that were all the lad laws going to come to an end unless renewed, or was it just? Part I, I, of it? Honest, I honestly can't remember the details, actually, John. No. It, it's so long ago; it's like mm. it's about eight years ago. But um, would, I, I just reflect on just so people really can get where I'm coming from. I mean, what I have seen from the Victorian Police Service in the last twelve months has just show, so shocked and appalled me. And anybody who wants to get on my Twitter feed or who's been, uh, been watching me on Sky would know I have been vociferous in my criticism. Um, I'm, if, if I had seen, when I was Premier, police laying into protesters, um, you know, the, the guy at, I think it was at Flinders Street Station, 
yeah. you know, heads would have rolled. Mm. I promise people that. I, I've just been disgusted, shocked, appalled. I can't give you enough adjectives. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, I just, uh, you know, I, just, just that, that has demonstrated what can happen when, when power is not properly controlled. So, you know, I hope, I hope people who've been concerned about uh, this whole Vlad thing and the bike and the bikey stuff. Um, I hope that's reassured people this evening.